Hey guys, what's up? This is HK with TechRapt and now in this video, we're gonna talk about the one issue many Poco F1 users were reporting in the past couple of days. The issue is screen light bleeding which occurs on LCD panels which are backlit by a light source like LED. If it's an AMOLED panel, it's a different issue as AMOLED panels doesn't require backlighting unlike LCDs as each pixel of the AMOLED panel can generate light itself. So the screen bleeding occurs when the backlight is not 100% blocked by the LCD in turn allowing the excess light to bleed around the sides and edges of the LCD panel. In the case of Poco F1, the light bleed is very evident near the navigation bar and to some extent you can also notice it below the top notch. So in order to test this thing, you need to open a grey or black background as we are looking for traces of white light. You can use any plain grey or black background or you can use this app called Display Tester. Under basic, select defect 2 pixel detection, increase brightness to at least 50%. Here I'm gonna crank it up all the way to 100%. As you can see in the video right now, our display looks very normal mainly because we do have a white navigation bar. So turn it off by going to settings, full screen display under system and device and change the navigation mode from buttons to gestures. And now start testing the display again with the same grey or black backgrounds. As you can see on the screen right now, there's a white gradient like thing happening near the navigation bar and some bleeding around the left and right sides of the screen. About the light bleed near the notch, it's more visible with white backgrounds instead of grey or black backgrounds. For the comparison, I'm testing the same with Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 which also has an LCD display and as you can see there is no screen light bleeding. I've also tested both phones with same wallpaper and the results are pretty much the same. Another simple way to test this thing is to simply press the power button and examine the power menu. There is no official confirmation yet from Xiaomi about this screen bleeding issue. I've also tweeted the same tagging Xiaomi asking for a confirmation. If you are concerned about this thing, you can reply to that tweet. If this thing is very concerning to you, then you can ask for a replacement. But I can confirm that it's the same with all units. I've inquired many of my friends with Poco F1 and everyone confirmed the light bleed. It's not like you got a defective display, it's more likely dependent on the quality of the LCD panel used or it could be because of the curved edges around the corners. So that's it for now, if you guys have noticed the same thing on your POCO F1 display, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.